This is definitely a loud place to ride a bike. Hi there, I'm sitting in a little park here, tucked away in New York City. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get around New York City by bicycle. And a lot of people think, wow, New York, that place must be nuts to ride a bike. There's so much traffic and chaos and noise and other things, and that is true. But New York is actually a great place to ride a bicycle. They're doing a lot in the world of bicycle advocacy and adding more bike lanes. I personally love riding here. It's exhilarating and fun and pretty safe. So I enlisted the help of my good friend, Clarence Eckerson Jr. He has highlighted transportation projects all over the world. He knows New York City so well, all the bike lanes, and he has a rad bike. Look at that bike. Where That's you, where for you my kid, or it's for you maybe. Yeah, I, I think I should there. sit right there. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> so uh, where are we gonna roll today? Uh, well, we're here in Williamsburg, so we're gonna see a few things here in Brooklyn. I'm gonna take people over to Queens to see, you know, Queens doesn't really get its due to see some of the cool things we got going on there. It really kind of depends where you are in the city. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of different kinds of lanes and there's a lot of different types of lanes to see. All so right. I thought we'd do that and then we'd maybe head over into Manhattan to see a little bit of Manhattan. All right, so we're gonna get Ryan a city bike. Yesterday, in fact, we set a record for a daily city bike use. I think it was 80, about 89,000 rides. <laughs> All of what you see here is new. All these residential towers, all this public space, all this waterfront access. Um, you know, I, I can tell you 20 years ago, we used to come over here and we'd hike over boulders and fences and broken bottles and who knows what, maybe occasional dead body, just to, you know, walk along the waterfront. Now, you know, it, it's, it's nice to see that, you know, people are gonna grow up with this from day one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's Christopher Walken. Oh, really? He looked at us and he smiled. We have a delivery truck right in the bike lane. Reminds me of the Casey Neistat video where he just crashed himself into everything that was blocking the bike lanes. <laughs> hit it! Uh, uh, whoa, see, that's what happens. You almost hit somebody. And that's not allowed. They're not allowed to unload in the bike lanes, but they just don't care. They that... don't care. They don't care. What's ever the truck? All right, Clarence, I like riding on bridges. Which one is this? This is the Pulaski Bridge, and about three years ago, after almost 10 years of advocacy and people asking for it, they decided to give us our own lane on the roadway. They took the roadway down from three to two lanes, made this for bicycles, this just for pedestrians, and it's incredible. It's one of the more successful things that have ever happened because now you can go between Brooklyn and Queens without any stress. Are we in Queens, dude? We'll be in Queens in exactly three, two, two one. one. You know, when I think of Queens, I think of coming to America. <laughs> That's one of my favorite that. movies, man. We're in New York now. Let us dress as New Yorkers. I feel like a complete idiot. You see, there is some nature in New York City. You just gotta look for it. Like in the back of a little hoopty, a little bit of nature. This is really cool because at this spot, they're going to be building a lot of businesses, a lot of residential towers, a lot of investment. And they put in the protected bike lanes basically before anything. And it's kind of what we need to be doing in any city in America that we know it's going to be having a lot of investment. You gotta build the infrastructure now for when people move in so they don't gripe and moan and community boards go, oh, we don't want bike lanes. Cause that's what happens. This is so cool. It's like a little observation deck overlooking Manhattan. So this uh, opened up last year and we're right along the waterfront in Queens at Gantry State Park. And you can see they have designed this for our future for when the seas rise, all this can, you know, take a lot more water than used to be what was here. So, you know, we're looking at very environmentally friendly, uh, very 
accessible for recreation and walkers and runners. We have the protected bike lane out there. Um, we are set in this area for hopefully the next 50 years when the seas rise. Um, but there, there's a lot of plans to do stuff like this all around New York, along the East River and anywhere that touches water. <laughs> What should I do? There's a truck in the bike lane. Do we hit him? Uh, these guys are just parked here. We're riding it legally on the sidewalk now, but what are you going to do? This a little greenway kind of carved out by New York City DOT and parks so that we can get safely to the Queensboro Bridge. So we're about to head into Manhattan over the Queensboro Bridge, not as it says the Ed Koch Bridge. Nobody calls it the Ed Koch Bridge. I've never heard anybody say that. This is quite a climb to go over this bridge. Everything in New York is somewhat flat, but if you live in one of the boroughs and you gotta go to Manhattan, you face a climb at some point. So this is First Avenue, and you can see from First Avenue, they have a bus lane, bus only lane, and they also have the protected bike lane, which I absolutely adore. I love First Avenue, it's my favorite bike lane in all of Manhattan. It goes from Canal Street all the way up into the 120s. Yeah, buddy. Oh, wow. I don't know where he's going surfing, but I, he's gonna have a great day. That is a guarantee. That's pretty cool. You know, another good reason that these are so wide and, and also here, you can see people that are in wheelchairs can use them, people on scooters. Ah, oh, we are in Central Park and we were gonna get a break from the madness of Manhattan. Central Park was made completely car free just last year and that followed a long time of advocacy from the 70s, 1970s, we got weekends closed. And then, you know, incrementalism, a little bit here, more and more and more, until you can now see the wonderful, quiet oasis that it is, that people that live in the city come for a little peace of mind. It is as quiet as it's gonna get anywhere in Manhattan here. Ah, you know, I, th I feel like my heart rate has seriously gone down being here in Central Park. <sighs> you can just breathe easier. I mean, it smells better. Everything is better in Central Park, which goes to show that nature, when you allow it to grow, really does good things for human well-being and, of course, nature and animals. There's birds flying overhead, and it's bizarre because I flip this camera around, you're going to see some huge buildings right here. We would love to hang out in Central Park and have a little picnic, but Clarence has to pick up his little boy, so we're gonna go get him. Yeah, Clarence the third. Not Clarence Jr., that's me. <laughs> Ooh, I want this bike, the Love More bike. Pride Week. I think it's for Pride Week, and yeah, we are gonna celebrate. It's another truck garden, look at that. Love it. You might see bikes like this that are painted white and left out as a shrine in cities all over the world and they're called ghost bikes and they're to commemorate people who have died while riding their bikes and I like what they've done here. They actually made it like an official monument now with a sign and everything and it's just a reminder that you know there's a lot of bike lanes, a lot of bike infrastructure but you still have to be very careful especially in a city like New York. Is that your boy? That's my boy. Say oh, hi, Clarence. Yeah, my yeah. man. Who can only ride in the green lanes? Bicycles. He really enjoys the back of the bike. And you know, it's it's so much nicer to, you know, interact with your kid on a bicycle and talk to them and they get to see nature and they get to feel the weather and they're, you know, not restricted inside of a car. Hi. Hi. We are hanging out in this little parklet. Took over two parking spots and made this cozy place to sit. Give Brian a big hug. Give Brian a big hug. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for having a play. Thank you for 
Uh, Having a play date. You, Brian, you had a play date with us? I guess I did. I didn't know we yeah, did. Yeah, we just had a play date. That was yeah, so but fun. It was great that we actually got to see three boroughs. Yeah. And um, three hours. Three hours. A lot of just, fun things. And there's like so much more going on, yeah. and I really appreciate you showing me a little piece of your world, man. Yeah, it's fun. It, it, again, New York has a long way to go, and it's a little trouble in areas to ride, but if you know what you're doing and you know the good places to go, yeah. you can really get around pretty safely. That's right. So if you ever come to New York City, get one of the city bikes and just start cruising around and you'll figure it out. And you know, ride fairly carefully and you should be A-OK. -okay. We didn't get hit by any cars today. No. Not even close.